Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, this is Mig. I'm here with another video for you. Um, I'm a remixer, producer, and writer. I go by the name of Mr. Mig. My company's Mig Type Productions. On MySpace, it's www.myspace.com forward slash Mr. Mig Productions. My website is www.mrmig.com. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through um, an introduction on getting started with doing a remix in Logic Pro, or as they call it, Logic Studio, Logic Pro 8. Um, the basics, uh, bringing in your acapellas, uh, lining up your tracks, and learning how to time stretch your vocals to the uh, desired BPM. All right, so uh, let's get started. All right, so I'm opening up Logic. We're opening up an empty project in the template section. Give it a second to load up. All right, we're gonna create five uh, audio tracks first. Five stereo audio tracks. Then we're gonna hit this plus sign right here, right in the global track section. Plus sign is for new tracks, basically the same thing we just did, um, but now we're gonna do five software instrument tracks. We're gonna hit create. So now we have five audio and five software instruments. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the main mix and the acapella of the song that we're going to remix. Um, I have something that um, is already set, so let me see. Um, let me go to bin. If you haven't, uh, if it's not open already, go to the right side of your screen, hit the media tab right here. See, it closes, now it opens. Then go to bin, then go to audio file, add audio file. And you're going to search your hard drive for the um, main mix and the acapella of the song that you're going to um, you're going to work on. All right, I'm going to my desktop and I'm going into my Logic Projects folder, and um, I'm going to go to the folder that has the uh, song with the acapella and the main mix. All right, here it is. All right, there we go. I'm going to just hit Add All because I have three files in there, and I can just grab them once I've added all three into my bin. All right. So it's converting them, it's creating overviews for the three files. One is my um, main mix, and then I have my acapellas. Now we, we grab the main mix, even though we're doing a remix, because we can go into Logic and we can use the BPM counter on the main mix to tell us the tempo, so we can then set the tempo um, of the acapella. And once we know the tempo of the acapella, we can restretch the, the acapella to a new tempo by plugging in the old tempo and then the new tempo in uh, Time Machine, which I'll show you that in a little bit. All right, so I grab the uh, clean main mix of this song. I drag it to bar number one. Then I'm going to grab uh, what I believe is the acapella. I have three files here. This is one, and then I have another one here. I'm not sure which is which, but we're gonna work with one of them. Let me just solo real quick. All right. All right, so I know that's the main mix, obviously. And then I go to here. That must be an instrumental. And then I go down here, and this is the acapella. All right, so I have an acapella. There's my acapella. All right. I'm going to go to the first track, highlight it. I'm going to go to my left, to the left side of my screen, to the channel strip, and go to... Uh, the tab, it says uh, Inserts, which is located right under the box that has EQ. So go to the first Insert box, scroll down to Metering, and then inside Metering, you'll find another uh, tab that says BPM Counter. I'm going to hit that, open up BPM Counter on the track that is the main mix. All right, so now I'm going to sold the main track, and I'm going to wait for BPM Counter to tell me the uh, beats per minute of the main track. All right, so it tells me that it's 119.9. It's most likely 120, um, just off a little bit, which is okay. You can always adjust by dragging the acapella forward and backwards and cutting them and whatnot. But you probably wouldn't even notice the tenth of a difference. All right, so it's 119.9. Uh, I'm going to say it's 120 because most likely it is because... Uh, most producers won't record a song in a, in a you know tenth of a BPM, um, so the counter is just reading off a little bit. All right, so um, 
I'm going to say it's 120, the main mix. I'm going to mute that out now. I'm going to go to the acapella track, which is audio three for me. I'm going to hit play. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that acapella, and I'm going to double click the sample or the, um, the audio file that you want to now time stretch. All right. First of all, what we have to figure out is if we're at 120 and the track is at 120, um, according to the BPM counter, then the acapella must be at 120. If we want to do the remix at um, a dance tempo, we're going to go to like 126, 127, 128, somewhere in there, whatever you, you choose. But I'll just hit 126. So now I'm going to want to make that acapella 126. So I'm going to double click the acapella. Okay. Now when I double click it, I can go down to that tab within the sample editor, editor that says factory. When I go to factory, I'll see time and pitch machine. I'm going to click on time and pitch machine. Okay. I'm going to leave everything as is, except I'm going to go to the tempo tab, and I'm going to go to the original tab, original tempo, and I'm going to set that for 120, considering that the original main mix, and then, which also means that the acapella is 120. The main mix and the acapella are both at 120. All right. And I'm going to set the destination BPM to 126. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit process and paste which is at the bottom right. Samples to save 993,132. I'm sorry, 9,931,320. It's um, processing the samples. It's rewriting them at a, uh, a faster beat per minute. It's basically uh, time compressing it right now. We call it time stretching, time compressing. All right, so now the acapella is at 126. I set my BPM down here to 126. Now I'm going to grab an Apple loop, and this is how I'm going to test that the, um, the acapella is at the right tempo. I'm going to go to loops, which is up on the right side of the screen. Remember, you have to open up media. Make sure that's opened. Next to bin is loops. I'm going to go to beats. I'm going to go to electronic right here, and I'm just going to grab any dance beat. Let me just grab a uh, club dance beat. All right, I'm going to drag this onto any available audio track. There we go. Dragging this loop to bar number one. I'm going to hit Command R, and it's going to repeat that loop. I'm going to do it ten times. I always just give myself, a, you know, just a, a bunch of copies so we can work with this and make sure the acapella is lined up. Everything's muted out except for the loop now and the acapella. Okay, now we're going to press play and see how the acapella is lined up. All right, so it's, lock, it's, it's basically locked up to the same tempo. In my next video, we're going to um, get everybody timed. We're going to throw in some beats, and um, we will uh, we'll see you on the next video. I hope this was somewhat helpful. You know now how to time stretch. You know where to go. You know uh, the basic process of using a main mix as a, uh, a guide uh, for your acapella. So if you have access to the main mix, that's great. If you don't, I have other tricks on how to um, line up acapellas when we have no idea what the tempo is. All right, so I'll get you on the next video. See ya.